everybody. Uh, good, on, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Miguel Angel Garrido, and uh, I'm going to start my presentation of the uh, of the new NSS Evo 3S. Is our new multifunctional uh, display. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to Dalbert for giving me this opportunity to express, to introduce uh, our equipment. Thank you especially to Tony and Barbara that uh, has made this uh, possible. In this, in this uh, new Balearic Jatso, virtual Balearic uh, Jatso, that uh, is something is experience new for everybody and that I expect uh, this to be a success. Well, uh, we start. Just to say, just to add that we have one uh, chat uh, and one of my colleagues is, uh, is, uh, is controlling it. So if you have any question, please uh, do not hesitate to, to make any, any question. And at the end, we will have some time to have some question and uh, ask live if you wish. Well, uh, let's start. Let's start to talk about uh, Evo 3S. I'm going to be talking uh, about 20 minutes. That is the slot of time that they have. And uh, if after this uh, 20 minutes, I enable that you keep in mind one idea, one single idea of the source of data that I'm going to provide you, I will be really happy. I will consider this as a success. Best, just go better. This is the idea. Uh, this uh, multifunctional display, I'm sure that uh, 75, 90% of, of you already know it. Um, it's, uh, it's very well known because of uh, has been installed all around the world in all times of, of, of ships, of boats. But uh, for all of you that, do, that uh, are not familiarized, familiarized with this equipment, um, uh, let, me, let me tell you that this equipment has an embeddable visibility and easy adaptability. Our, uh, our market target is uh, mainly sport fishing and uh, offshore cruising. So it's, uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, quite a complex uh, system. I mean, it's, it's quite a complex equipment for quite a complex uh, system. Uh, when I say complex, I say from the point of view of what it's able to do. Of course, uh, usability is another point uh, because uh, one of the main uh, tasks when we design on, on equipment is to do it freely. okay? The, the, the internal complex, complex built the internal possibilities of the equipment has nothing to see with friendly user the final user the captain or should be able to do to, to, to manage uh, this equipment to get friendly with uh, in a better short time because sometimes uh, they are jumping from one ship to another ship anyway um, uh, with the Evo 3S, uh, you have uh, full control of your vessel at your fingertips. This uh, panel, let me put the last pointer, okay? This equipment uh, has a super responsive touch screen that makes uh, the road planning and adjusting setting uh, just a breeze. We also provide a, a full keypad control uh, with both uh, rotatory dials and also uh, you have uh, push buttons, you have uh, arrows keys. Uh, so that means that uh, when the weather condition gets really, really rural, uh, you have something physical uh, to hold on to. And uh, of course, have no doubt about who is in control. Uh, let's take uh, about the basic difference uh, about the uh, Evo 3 and the new Evo 3S. Uh, the, 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 main, the, main, the main feature is that uh, this equipment uh, has been designed using one 
of the new state of the art processor. I mean, they have internally one new microprocessor, actually is the IMX8, it's a four core uh, microprocessor that allows to twist the performance of the previous generation processor. Uh, the key benefits uh, for the user is, uh, is straightforward. I mean, uh, faster page change. I mean, the page loading time uh, has been halved. Of course, we also get smooth transitions. I mean, the movement on the screen, like chart rotation and panning, is very, very, very much uh, smooth. Uh, multitasking is another uh, very nice feature. Uh, because with uh, such an increase of power, uh, I mean, you, you the micro, mi, microprocessor, uh, the Able 3S can multitask like uh, no product before it. One of the one of the features that uh, everybody loves for this uh, system uh, is uh, is the visibility. Uh, I mean, one of the main added value for this equipment, in my opinion, is the safety. And maybe you can ask me, okay, safety, why you say safety? How can uh, Syndrad increase the safety on board by using the multifunctional display panel? Okay, uh, with an embeddable visibility of the screen. I mean, the screen, you can see the screen, uh, in all weather condition. Uh, you, the, the ultimate selling display uh, is a IPS solar match AD touch screen, uh, which provides super wide viewed angles and uh, brilliantly crisp data. Uh, never mind if it's a very summer, sunny day, or it is a foggy day, or even in the night. And never mind if you are uh, viewing the, the monitor using polarized uh, sunglasses, or even if you have wet, uh, wet, uh, uh, wet hands, multi-touch will, 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 will operate without no problem. So if you have access to the data, if you can trust in the data that the uh, functional display is acquired through the network, you can trust in your data and you can see it. Of course, we are increasing the safety of board. That is why we really, really, really uh, forced to have one of the best uh, screens uh, in the markets. Well, as I mentioned before, uh, one of our uh, target market is the, uh, is the sport fishing. So we have uh, enhanced uh, sonar with built-in high-performance echo sonar. Actually, we can manage uh, one kilowatt chip uh, transducer. And due to the uh, powerfulness of the microprocessor, this new microprocessor, you can see on the screen, in double screen, triple screen, you can see a standard uh, sonar transducer, you can see uh, don't scan, structure, side scan. Uh, you can even have a forward scan sonar. Uh, I mean, uh, and sweat on the uh, screens. You can see at the same time. And uh, everything with uh, crystal clear and uh, in a smooth way. Okay. This equipment uh, has uh, okay, okay. This equipment has uh, two inputs for the transducer. Okay, so we can use uh, two independent transducer. Actually, the inputs they are a chirp. You can they admit a chirp technology, or you can use one dual uh, transducer. Okay. Uh, regarding the frequencies, there are no limitations in the combination. You can use high, low chip, medium, low, high, medium. I mean, it's up to you. In fact, if you are really, really heavy 
sportfish, sportfisher. Uh, you can add one sonar model that uh, is able to handle the uh, transducer up to three kilowatts, three kilowatts. So for a really, really, really heavy, heavy uh, fisherman. Uh, and of course, uh, you can add one uh, 3D model where you can see uh, the, the, uh, the deep part of the, of the sea in a 3D. You can see valleys, the mountains, the caves, everything. And you can move up, down, twist, pan uh, in a very, very, very smooth way. Very nice, actually, I've seen several times and it's really, 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 really nice. Um, well, let's talk about uh, the human, the user interface, okay, user interface. Uh, again, this is the more important <laughs> for the, uh, one of the more important things uh, for, the, for the final user, for the captain, uh, for the ship owner, because this is what he's using every day. So we have made several improvements. Uh, we have uh, included a new dark and the wallpaper for less the light pollution. I mean, in the night, uh, if you have several multifunctional display together, uh, you don't wish to have uh, very brilliant uh, screens, even when you decrease, uh, top decrease the, uh, the brightness, we don't, you don't wish to have uh, light pollution. Also, we have embraced, uh, we have uh, improved the audio sidebar, also, we have made, uh, we have uh, included a very nice tool for the charts, to move the charts depending on the situation of the ship or, or depending on where you want to place the north. Um, we also have add one uh, small uh, telegraph. I can show you more detail. Uh, the audio <laughs> is becoming a very important task, a very important thing on board. All the ships has audio, and then before we have one single one small uh, controls in the side. Now we are using one full page, and this full page, of course, depends on what kind of uh, equipment you have installed. But then you have a full page for having all the simple or complex system board. The chart orientation control is uh, is a task, is a tool that uh, it has been. Is, it, has becoming very popular because uh, everybody has a different way of uh, a different preference for the for the charts orientations. So now you can choose between heading up, you can choose uh, between be, between the north up or even course up, just using this small icon, just just uh, uh, pushing this small like compass. Okay, uh, it's very fast. It's change from north up to uh, heading up or whatever. It has been very, 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 very uh, required for, for our customer and now people it's very, uh, very, very fancy to use. And also we have add one uh, tied graph instrument on bar because uh, we are, uh, we, we really know how important is uh, to have a control of where the tide is and what is the, uh, what is the, what is the movement, uh, what's the short term evolution of the tide mainly in areas where there is a very big uh, difference, like, like, for example, in North Spain, in, in Galicia or in Asturias, when the tidal difference can be up to 10 meters. Um, of course, our multifunctional display is 100% uh, integrated with our Halo Pulse compressor router. Well, you can, uh, it can be solved at the same time, two different uh, points of view, near and far. Uh, because uh, well, when you are doing, the, uh, when you are approached into the port, you, you, you wish to have a clear view of what is in the surrounding, or maybe you decide to use one of the additional functionality from the radar, like, uh, uh, like bird, bird uh, detection. Uh, actually, some, some fishermen define, define themselves as a, a bird's, bird's lookers because they are looking for the birds more than for the peers. 
I mean, in, in some type of special, in, in some sp special type of, of fishing, some technique. They, it's really, they are following the birds, and when they say birds, they say, oh, we have below, we have uh, a fish. Well, um, actually, uh, what we can do is very much complex. Of course, you can overlay uh, rather than the chart, just to, if you're sailing in a very complex area, where you have uh, chain marks, your boats, boys, uh, a lot of uh, traffic, commercial traffic, then if you have to improve the safety, if you want to be sure what you're looking for, then you, you can, uh, can uh, overlay. Uh, once again, very fast, very clear, very smooth. Well, uh, networking, fast and simple networking. Uh, this is uh, what we are calling, what we, what we uh, there is a term that now is uh, in, in the month of everybody, is integration, integration by using the networking. Uh, by using our uh, our AOS, uh, it can display it for you up to six different mini screens. These nine screens, they are 100% configurable. You can choose what to show. And even you can change the size or the area of these uh, nine screens. But the point is that you can show, or it can be shown, not only uh, direct SIMRAT components like transducer, that hull rather, like charge, but also it can be shown third part suppliers. Okay? This is very important because uh, nowadays the tendency is that the ships has more and more discrete system. And this discrete system share the information with uh, one central point. Today, that central point is the multifunctional display. And we are able not only monitoring, but also control. And uh, this is uh, for, for, for carrying out this task, it's necessary to have the powerful of the new uh, microprocessor. Um, some uh, examples we can find uh they are uh engines light uh level coach system power management and entertainment propulsion system deck hour i have made for you some example i have taken for you some examples where you can uh, where you can see what uh, you can do from the plotter like uh, work with the ancho weak lands see what is the level of the batteries but the big point the, the key point is that this is integrated with our equipment. Those mimics belong to the third part and they are integrated with our uh, Airbus 3S. I mean, it is not something that you have to add some engineering or is something that you have to test like a laboratory rabbit. No, this uh, interface has been already developed together with between third part and syndrome, and you know that it's working in a reliable way, that it is what we are looking for, okay? Another possibility is that uh, we decide to take part of the huge information that is, uh, is running through the uh, N2Key network and made some uh, mimics by using one inbuilt editor. It's just take, drop and drag, drop and drag, drop and drag, and uh, something that uh, our certified technician can do very, very fast because it's a very fancy tool, very easy to use. Another example is uh, uh, marine thermal cameras. Uh, safety is uh, always a plus in the ship. And these uh, thermal uh, cameras, uh, in, in some situations, they are really, really helpful. And uh, this equipment has the possibility to receive information from uh, IP cameras, analog uh, video, IP video, uh, IP control. I mean, you can not only receive the, uh, the image from the camera, but also control uh, what to do, 
control the movement, the pan, the tilt of the camera, offer um, several, uh, several of the main uh, builder of these cameras like Fly, like Clear, Omnisense, which I'm sure that all of you know. For 10B, uh, in a few models, but this, the number of models is increasing time and time to time. Uh, and of course, uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can use some trip invariants uh, to uh, to define the route to know how uh, fuel you have, how much fuel are you going to use, uh, how many miles are you able to do, and these kind of things that you can uh, you can do when you are uh, planning a ship, planning a trip. And of course, this uh, presentation. Uh, won't be complete, won't be, uh, won't be uh, at all if uh, I could not include something about wireless connectivity. Today, uh, wireless is, uh, is such a is such a suggestion. Yes. The system has a Wi-Fi possibilities, therefore you can um, uh, mirror uh, the screen of the Able 3S in your uh, iPad, in your tablet, in your iPhone. Never mind if it is, uh, Apple or it is using Android, you can uh, monitor and such level, such a level control uh, different systems uh, from uh, your device in the same way as you will do, as you will do from your uh, multifunctional display. I say as a such level because, uh, for example, the uh, automatic autopilot, uh, of course, you cannot, you should not control from an iPad or from a telephone. But the, the most of the uh, of the possibilities uh, uh, you will you will have in your tablet as you are mirroring the screen uh, of the functional display, and you can play with it in the same way. Uh, we have developed as, as well some uh, some apps uh, that allows you to uh, upload to the cloud uh, waypoints, uh, your favorite fishing spots, uh, download the uh, software, download uh, the templates, etc., etc., etc. Therefore, uh, you can uh, work with your uh, multifunctional display on board, but also sure. I mean, you can make the planning with the, your waypoints uh, on shore and then transfer very easily using the apps uh, to the ship. Okay, and uh, well, uh, I think that uh, I have just 20 minutes. I have exit a little, so sorry about this. And now is uh, time for uh, some questions. If you have any question to do, or if not, uh, I just would like to say thank you very much for you for assisting to this uh, presentation, for assisting to this uh, virtual yacht experience, which is new. And uh, well, uh, we will be happy to support you in anything related with Sinrad directly or through our uh, the certified dealer, Darren. Thank you very much, President. Bye.